everyone welcome back to another video i can't believe i'm going to start the video on a negative note guys i am about to miss my flight seriously i am supposed to get a heathrow express from paddington and my train got cancelled and i'm already running late and i don't know what time i'm going to reach the airport my uh, flight is at 10:20 and it's currently 8:40 and this train leaves at 8:55 from here claims to reach there by in 15 minutes but i have absolutely no idea if i'm going to make it in time even if i do i'm going to reach there at 9:10 or 9:15 and i have to be inside before 9:20 is what i think at least one hour before guys i have no idea what's going to happen but stay tuned let's see if i'm going to miss the flight or not <sighs> you won't believe it guys mai 10:20 के फ्लाइट के लिए 9:21 को अंदर पहुँचू एंड यहाँ पे आई थैंक गॉड ही थ्रो हैज अ बोर्डिंग पास कम्स ऑन एंड यू कैन स्कैन इट इफ नॉट इफ आई हैड टू चेक इन आई वुड नॉट बी एबल टू गेट ऑन दिस फ्लाइट सिक्योरिटी पे मेरा बैग पकड़ा प्रॉब्लम सेटिंग स्प्रे मेकअप सेटिंग स्प्रे के लिए मुझे पकड़ा फिर उन्होंने कुछ टेस्ट किया एंड देन वी बॉन्डेड ओवर हाउ वी हैव द सेम मेकअप बैग and then she let me go and now i have reached at 9:34 to my gate and boarding starts in 6 minutes what a rush guys what a rush also like my heathrow express got uh, delayed and guess who decided to do her full face of makeup while waiting in the train because just because i had time hmm. hi guys we are in istanbul and i have somebody with me hello guys <laughs> we are just trying to get out of the airport and we've got this Istanbul cart Where are we I don't know which stop are we going Oh Anyway if you are trying to access the metros you need to get this card and it it says it works for 5 people so you just tap go and then give the card to the other person they can tap as well better to use for two or three people is what i have read online anyway uh everything is written in the local language so it's a little difficult to understand even though they have it written in english to be honest but let's see i thought if you take like the last flight of the day it is empty the flight was full and i got the seat in just in front of the emergency exit the one that doesn't lean back I haven't slept all night, you guys. It was horrible, horrible, horrible. And I reached so last minute, I couldn't even ask for a seat change. <sighs> Welcome to Istanbul. It is raining. Why? I thought the weather here would be better than London. But yeah, it's cold. What the hell? Let's see how today goes. We are really tired, so we are hoping that they allow us to do early check-in so that we can just go and rest. Because even he didn't get sleep on his flight because there was a crying child. I didn't get sleep because there was no space. Anyway. Let's see what happens. But I hope it stops raining for sure. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and there's like it's so gloomy. And I really, really hope it stops raining. Hi guys, we came to the hotel room. Luckily, these guys were so sweet. They let us like do an early check-in. They gave us breakfast and everything. Super sweet hospitality, guys. Uh, anyway, we were so tired. I was so exhausted. I just came. crashed i have slept and it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon now finally got ready and headed out to explore istanbul because we don't really have much time in istanbul but let's see how much we can cover i hope we go we get to go to the grand bazaar but no plans just google maps guys so let's go Guess who just booked a hotel right opposite the Grand Bazaar and forgot? Guys, this was our first stop. This is where we first went and explored the entire Grand Bazaar. Beautiful place, a lot of shops. Very, very, very crowded on a weekend. Pro tip: when you are in the Grand Bazaar, there's a lot of shopping that you can do, but make sure you always negotiate and bargain on the price. They tell you ridiculous, ridiculous prices, and then they're ready to go down 
half of the price they told you initially and then even lower after that so make sure you bring your best bargaining skills and have a great time in grand bazaar places in the grand bazaar were pretty packed for food so we quickly found this little food stall outside they were selling simit got a quick snack from here and then we were headed to the galata tower as we were walking in istanbul looks like guys if you decide you can walk everywhere remember there is always ups and downs of walking in istanbul After the horrible five-minute trek, which I absolutely hated, this is the Galata Tower under construction. So, if you come, please make sure the construction was completed, so you get a better view. Guys, this is that popular cheesecake place. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen. We got in. We did get a table for two. We wanted to try the cheesecake, but the place is so cramped up. We just got a to-go bag with the cheesecake, and we go sit somewhere in peace and have it. Visiting Istanbul on a weekend. doesn't seem like a great idea to me guys everywhere it is packed 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 like there's lots of people and it's not like it's all tourist people there's lots of local people out and uh, the problem with walking around is you have to like climb up and then go downhill if you take the wrong turn you might end up going somewhere else and then you have to come all the way back which happened and i hated it anyway Uh, Galata Tower currently is under construction, which I think they're trying to fix. Maybe just make some changes or whatever. So, wasn't much of a view like how you would see on Pinterest or how I thought it would be. Anyway, we just got the cheesecake. We got a place to sit. It seems quite nice here. That's the view. I'm just going to enjoy the cheesecake and let you know how it tastes because I hope it better taste good. Very good cake. So so very nice. Oh my god, it's so good. No wonder it's so popular here. so bad we got home pretty much right after the whole tower and everything because we were just so tired uh, i was working the last two days and i don't know why i decided to take the last flight after i got off work and come here because i've just been so tired today and the whole day it was so gloomy plus because it's the weekend everything shuts around 5 so everything started getting shut So there was no point staying, and we didn't have the energy for sightseeing. So we just got to the room. I called my mum, spent like three to four hours on call with her, and now we're just going out to find a place to eat something, so that we can rest and then start a new day tomorrow. Probably fresh, nice, sunny. Let's see. But yeah, we're just trying to figure out. There's not a lot of the place we're staying at. It's old city. Yeah. still not a lot of places to eat around most of it is shut so we're just going to the place that's actually open and i have no idea how the food tastes like most of it is kebab here so i'm guessing it's good but no idea and it's really dark you can't see me guys we couldn't find any restaurants and jo the ones that were open i didn't like the looks of the food So we just walked around and sort of came to the main road and found this little 
street food spot and we're just getting ourselves like a shawarma and a burger that's about it that's been a night uh, we're just gonna eat and then have a good sleep and hopefully tomorrow is a better day bye